Hello everyone, to Fudge 3004 here. Welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. I would like to show you guys something that I found out just not that long ago. I was playing on another friend's server and I was moving my base. And I really didn't know this until I actually did it, but this thing right here, this survival kit, if you take out, like, let's say your torch, your grinder, or whatever. Come on, there you go. And you see, okay, it says it takes all these components right here. If you make a big one of these or a little one of these, it doesn't matter. It's all the same number of components. I did not know that. I thought because the bigger one would take a lot more components, but it doesn't. So if I grind this guy down right here, I can actually take him out and set him up over here on this base. And then I will have a place to be able to respawn at besides the ship. Because as I said, sometimes these ships disappear if you have a, like a lot of debris around because of the trash thing that's under the um, settings. So you really need to watch that. If your ship does disappear, you're kind of SOL if you have not built like the refinery or the assembler, even just the basic one. So, so that's one of the things that I'm thinking about doing is just going and getting rid of the ship and I'll probably go ahead and make a couple of more um, hydrogen bottles I think just because I'm going to actually need them because of something I'm going to be doing and I don't know if I can actually make them in here I actually can how do you like that let's go ahead and make a couple of these the hydrogen bottles and then we're gonna have these that's gonna be really good for us that's gonna help us out the most and then we can make some oxygen bottles also so what I need is okay there's not enough power so what that means is let's go and take this shut this off so that little thing up there at the top is not giving me enough power to be able to supply all the things that I need to run this base. That little thing up there, I need to add a few more. But as I said in my last episode, I'm thinking about building a drilling base over there where that cobalt is because that's really not that far away. It's only four kilometers, almost five, four and three quarter kilometers. So to fill up your hydrogen or oxygen bottles, go over to wherever your O2, H2 generator is. Make sure you have ice in it first because that's kind of important. And I don't know if I have any ice in there. I do not. If I don't have any ice, I will get some ice. It doesn't look like I actually do have any ice because I didn't see any in here. So I'm going to have to go and get some ice first don't believe I have any anywhere else. I don't have any on my person. So, no, I do not. I'm going to have to go and get some ice. And then I will um, put that in the oxygen generator. Fill up those bottles. And as soon as I get all that kind of stuff done, we are going to go in the rover. We're going to tear down the ship for sure. And we'll probably take out most of this. Maybe. I'll see. I don't know. I just might build this stuff over there too and leave this here. So I have a secondary one. And then we're going to go and build our driller over there. I will be right back as soon as I go get the ice. All right, I just got the ice, <clears throat> excuse me. So let's go ahead and put it in here. We're not gonna put all of it in there, but we're gonna put a good portion of it here. Um, so let's just go ahead and let's put a thousand in there. So control shift and that'll put a thousand in there. Now let's go ahead and put in our hydrogen bottles and then you see they automatically fill up. So that's actually a good thing. You can just put all your stuff in there, hydrogen bottles, oxygen bottles, whatever you need. Now the reason why I have this many bottles is because where I'm gonna be going, I'm gonna be flying quite a bit getting this structure built. And that's gonna be kind of a, a challenge to do. So that's why I did that. Um, we do have lots of cobalt and we do have lots of nickel because when we were over there I got done unloading all this cobalt and nickel into the um, Refinery and now I'm getting that stuff done because we're gonna need a whopping lot of them. We probably don't need that much to build a ship to go out into space But I wanted to show you guys how to build a drilling facility should you want one or need one All right 
let's go ahead and in our little thing here let's just go and put like maybe we'll put 3,000 ice in there that'll be enough to get ourselves going maybe we'll just go and put another thousand that'll leave enough in there for us for a little while and then we will be okay and I didn't connect this up to there because just to make sure that I do have extra ice let's i think i already pulled all that out of here no i did not and i'll put that in the ship and then i am actually just going to grind this guy down and then i'm going to build this um survival kit over at the new place wherever it is that we set up to start doing the drilling facility i'm going to get this guy ground down and i'm going to take quite a few of the supplies out of here because I'm gonna be needing them and I'll take all of this stuff and then we will go over there and start getting that stuff set up all right just got everything ground out from the ship and I took all of the ores and everything out of here I'm gonna leave this here just in case we need it because there is silver quite a ways over there and there's more stuff that we can do and this will be a secondary place for us to come to if we need to have everything pretty much on here and now I have a pretty full cargo container and I have a lot on me and now we're gonna head over there and we're gonna start getting this baby built back in here and let's go to Y and then let's head over there parking brake all right so that's gonna be about 4.7 meters uh, kilometers away 4.7 meters yeah I wish um, four kilometers away and we got to go around the corner and all that stuff so I am gonna drive over there and when I get there and start getting it ready I'll come back to you guys and I'll show you guys what we're doing and I just lost my ore detector I heard something go ex go explode over here so when I came down over this area here, I came down here and hit it a little bit harder than I probably should have, and I lost my ore detector. But you know what? That's okay. I'm not really going to get too terribly worried about it. So, um, and for those of you who know, this is what it will say when your um, pod is gone. It'll say last known location. So if you see that, you know that you're kind of uh, in trouble if you do not see your pod. And if you see that, then you might want to hurry to get back to your base. Sometimes it appears, sometimes it doesn't. All right, just got to where I need to be. And here's the cobalt, so that's good. And the hole that I was drilling to get down there is right here. So what I need to do is build a structure and just fill, figure out exactly where that cobalt is. I know it's over a large area here, but I just want to make sure that I do get in the right place so I'm not just digging needlessly for all kinds of other stuff. I'm going to go down in the hole. I'm going to GPS, GPS where that is, and then we're going to see about starting to build this. So... I know it's a little ways down here because I about undercut myself right there and okay so that is right here my rover should be just up there let's go and collect what little bit there of stuff there is here and then I am going to go ahead and just GPS this directly so that way I know where it is new from current position DF and let's just do cobalt that way I know exactly where it is and then I can just uh, go ahead and do it like that now let's go back up and let's see as close of a as a spot as we can get to it and then we'll start building our structure kind of stinks I lost my uh, ore detector but that does happen Alrighty, there is the cobalt. So it looks like it is right here. That's going to be about the closest I can get to what I think. Okay, yes, right here. This is where the cobalt is, right directly beneath me. So what I'm going to do is...
Fill a little bit of a hole here like that. So this is where I want things to go down into. All right. Now I have a little bit of a dent, so I know I'm going to build everything right around this area. I'm going to go and start getting all of that stuff out. I'm going to start building that. And then we're, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And it's actually really easy once you know, but, you know, if you don't know, then it is a lot harder because you just won't know. I also picked up a container that dropped one of the... Uh, special thing that drops out of the sky the unknown signal so i got one of those it came really close to me on the way over here so i just went ahead and picked him up i will be back as soon as i get this done and then we will go over some of the details if you remember from my last base i was having problems keeping lots of energy going for um the things that i was running this thing is going to take a lot more energy so what i did is i extended some platforms out both ways and I'm quite a ways up, as you can tell by how far down my little rover is over there. And I just kind of made a winding path like this right here. And to extend stuff out, I just pretty much built stuff out so I could reach out a long ways. But on this side, I kind of had to fly. And that's why I made all the extra oxygen, bo uh, hydrogen bottles so I could actually go out there and build quite a bit, bit bigger structure. Let's go ahead and I need to uh, get some uh, interior plates and I'm going to put down quite a few of those turbines and then we're going to have hopefully enough power to be able to run things plus then we can put down solar panels and all that stuff too. I'm just going to go ahead and grab all of this that I, excuse me, that I need and I do have quite a few things so that's actually going to help out a lot. I don't know what all I'm going to need, so I'm just going to take up whatever I think I can and might need, and then we're going to go and do this. I'm going to go and start building those turbines here real quick, so let's go to number 7, and let's try to build these far out as we can. Put one right there, and I tried to build four wide structures, so that way we can always add on more if we need to, and that's actually going to be really good also. And I can't put one there, but I can put one right there. And then I should be able to also put another one right there. Now, I can stagger these also, but I kind of want them on the back part. So that way I can always extend them out if need be. Okay, so I need girders and motors. So if I can build quite a few of these, and that will actually help out quite a bit. So let's go and get all this built and then I'm going to go and build these as soon as I get these built and get things kind of headed that way I'll come back to you here in just a quick second one of the things that I'm am looking at is how much power they're putting out so max output 333 336 384 and 397 so hopefully I'll be able to have enough output to be able to build a lot of stuff and this thing came right back to life and started purring for us so that was really good i like that part and now that i have that built now comes the hard part because i'm gonna have to build a basic assembler and refiner or the big ones and i think i'm just going to do the basic ones for what i need and hopefully i'll be able to build what I can but if not then I guess I am building the big ones and that's what we will do in this episode I'm hoping to do other things but we will see all right now I need to take this one quite a ways up and then I'm gonna see if I can get some stuff going right over here so let me start working on that because this is going to be a major project um that was that one right there so i think i'm going to take that one out one more or yeah let me see here that needs to come out yep at least one more so i'm going to do that right there and then i will start building this one up and luckily i do have other places that i can get up there with so let's see what happens so as I figured as I was as I figured it would happen, I'm gonna have to build the big refinery and the build 
the, the big assembler or at least the big assembler uh, yeah the big assembler so let's scroll over here and let's go to g and i don't know if i can build that yet okay actually there's the big assembler good all right i can build that and then i'm gonna have to also look at possibly the big refinery but for right now i'm just gonna settle with this assembler all right let's uh we gotta figure out where we really want to put this guy so when we do build the refinery we can have all this stuff together um the refinery is about six long i believe so maybe what i'm gonna do is put the assembler right there and then i can always build pieces off the front of that or maybe right there would actually be a better choice and then i can always build something up to it and then i can put the assembler right or the refinery right there behind it over one i don't have enough blocks uh steel plates to be able to do that because i put them all on the ship so let's go ahead and get out steel plates now and then i'm gonna have to get a lot more stuff going because i'm gonna have to build a lot more of those uh turbines up there to be able to power everything really well let's put you right there let's press nine and then we're gonna build what we can so it looks like it's gonna need motors display see this is the thing we need those grids and luckily we can make the grids and those grids are go 160 computers wow those grids are actually going to be in here so let's go to production and let's just go and do i don't remember how many grids it was but we need a lot of computers anyway so let's just go and do 200 computers and i think i have pretty much everything else on here um 10 grids i can do that that ain't too bad to do so let's do this and let's do 10 grids let me see what I have on the ship to build the assembler. And we may not get that drilling facility built, but we'll get a good portion of it started. All right, there's that. And I do actually have some grids, but that's okay, because we always need more. And I'm going to need a display. And I don't think I'm going to need anything else in there. I can't use the ice yet, because I don't have an oxygen generator. All right. Uh, a couple of more grids come down to here let's do that and that that should give me enough and then i can begin working on this guy all right open up new blocks now i can take a lot of the stuff from here and begin putting it in there and that's gonna really be good then we can build even more stuff all right let's take out all that i can and begin placing all of this stuff in here and i can actually put a lot of this stuff in here too so that's actually okay but actually i'm gonna need those and i don't need those but i can put stuff that i cannot put in those other ones because they will go in here um i won't need those for right now and let's just go in and start getting all of this stuff out. Okay, that'll continue making all of that. And then, what I can do is make a whole bunch of grids. Or not grids, girders. Let me do... That takes 24 for each of those. So let's do... Let's go and do 100. That'll give me enough. And I think I have enough motors. Let's go to inventory... Any motors I don't have, I should have on my ship. And so I'm going to go and build a bunch more of those turbines. And then we'll see just how far we actually get. To be able to do what I want to do and set it up the way I want to set it up, I'm going to have to set up a big um, a refinery. Because I'm going to have to channel what all I'm, I'm drilling into there and have some cargo containers and everything else. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of these guys going on, and some of them are moving slower than others, and that means the wind um, is not optimal. This one is moving ever slightly slower 
than like this one here and this one is was up here blocking this way because I wasn't thinking about it and I moved him to now he's getting better airflow and the more open these are the better that they're going to be moving that one is actually moving a little bit slower than this one I think it's kind of hard to tell but we're going to have plenty of power now and then I can set up solar panels batteries and everything else after a little bit so I'm making a whole bunch of steel plates because I'm going to need to and let's see if we can in fact make the refinery. I'm hoping that we can but we will see. Okay there's a refinery and there's a basic one. Let's go and get the big one on our bar. Okay now I'm not going to have a standing up because that's not going to be what I want. I can't. I just don't want to. Pull him back that way and push him over one that way just like that right there. He should line up with those ports right up against the assembler which is what I want. So once I get that, then yep, he's right up against the that third assembler. So that's good. That's what I was wanting and hoping for. All right, now you can see I'm going to need a lot of stuff. More grids and a lot of everything else. So let me just, uh, I don't have any more plates on me. I don't believe because I use them all. Yeah, I don't. Okay. Use them all to get that thing going. So... Luckily, I do have enough in here. Let's do this. We're going to need a lot more of these. And so we're going to have to make, let's go and make 20 of them. That way we have them. And then we're going to need probably, I don't know, I'm just going to do 100 of those. And let's just see what all we can build here now. We have almost all the steel plates. We need more motors. I only have 4 of 16 on there. So... All right, good. I have enough there now. So I'm going to have to build this. And all right, need some more grids. Those are ready. And then some more steel plates. So let's go ahead and do at least 100 more steel plates. And then always remember to go to your inventory so that we can take them out. And for the survival kit too, since it's right here, what I, I was showing you guys is it still takes only three medical components. It takes the exact same stuff, large or small, and I like that a lot. So the next time that we have to build one of these, we can just build it really easy as long as we have the components and it never changes, and that is really awesome. That's one of my favorite parts about that, and I really didn't know because I thought it would be a lot more expensive than it is, so I was pleasantly surprised. All right, now, what my plan is, is to have a drill head or maybe a few drill heads down here, drilling into here, and then I'm going to have tubes going up, and I'm going to have pistons and everything else, and then I'm going to have to have a tube coming down into here, and I can always have it come down on that side, which is what I'm going to have to do, or even back here, and just kind of work it around. So, it's not going to be too hard to do, it's just going to be kind of a pain. I think we're going to have to do that in the next episode, though. But I can at least try to look to get some of this stuff ready, because for the conveyors, I know I'm going to need a lot of interior plates. So, let's just go and start getting that going. Let's go and do a couple of hundred plus... Uh, several of these, and I'm going to have to do, oh boy, quite a lot of stuff actually, and this is going to be a challenge and a half, but that's okay, that's what I wanted to do, and that's what I'm going to do, so I don't need power cells for right now, but I will need a lot of those, and then we can look at, um, yeah, getting this ready. I am actually going to have to open up new blocks. Let me see if I have any conveyor tubes available. So, C-O-N. I do have conveyor tubes. All right. Let's go ahead and go over here. Because I did all that stuff earlier, I can do that. Let's go to G. And let's just go ahead and take these two off right now. 
Now what I'm going to do is block tools. Let's do drill. And then let's go to conveyor cargo blocks. And let's do conveyor tubes because that's what we're going to need. And then also have all three of these things, the tubes, the junctions, and all that stuff. And then we have to do some containers. And I'm thinking, since we don't have medium ones that we can put actually on the this structure here that I'm looking at, um, where we built everything, we're, we're going to have to use either these or a large one. And they're very expensive, as you can tell. They hold a lot, but they're also really expensive. So I need to really think about that and what I'm going to do. But if I can just start feeding everything kind of into the assembler, then that's going to be really good. So I need to go up there and start getting this stuff planned out and figure out just exactly how I'm going to do it. I am going to work on that for a little bit and we will get this finished probably in the next episode. Now, why is everything moving so slowly up there all of a sudden? That's what I'm wondering, because it doesn't look like everything is moving very fast all of a sudden. Um, let's see how much energy we're actually getting out of those guys right now. 349, 283, 218. See, that's dropped quite a bit dramatically from what it was. So we were getting almost 400 from some of those and now it's dropped down quite a bit to, you know, 200 and low 300s. What I may have to do is end up building some more blocks up and put some more higher up and see what happens with that. Alright, now I do have a little walkway that I'm planning on at least leaving open for right now so I can get to stuff. That's going to be good and then I can do more stuff. I'm, let's see, how much does this guy take to run? So, required input, okay, maximum required 560 kilowatts. Okay, and for you, you take 560, so right there's a thousand kilowatts, uh, no, it's quite a bit more than a thousand. So if those guys aren't producing 100%, then we're going to be not being able to do as much stuff. And that's going to be a problem. So I may have to end up also getting some more ice and putting a hydrogen, hydrogen engine somewhere on here for more power to be able to keep stuff going. It's going to be a process. And that's one of my biggest concerns is I'm not sure... Okay, there's gold, ice, silicon, and magnesium. So let's look for eight. And um, this is seven. So eight's right over there, not that far away. So we can actually go get some ice over there. That's going to help. And then we're not really too far from ice. I like to find a lake, to be quite honest. And then um, we'll be doing better. But this will work for right now. And we have actually pretty good structure built here now. And you can see what to do with all kinds of these uh, turbines here. And like I said, just remember, or I don't know if I did say it, but I, I meant to say it, is just do your own thing. Build it your own way, however you want to, however you think you want it. And then you can just play from there and just see what happens. And, you know... This is just my idea of how to build it, and, you know, there's all kinds of different ways. There is no wrong way. This seems to work well for me, and actually, I don't think I've built one quite like this before, but because these are four big, I can only build, you know, every other slot or so, or every other piece of uh, block, and you can weld up all these blocks if you want to. I don't really think that's totally necessary, but if you want to, you can just to make it, you know, whoa, look better. Hey, friend, you got hurt. Um, and this thing will, of course, heal us and spawn us. So if we die, we'll spawn at the survival kit. And that's, like, one of the best parts about the survival kit, too. If I put a chair on here, then, of course, we have more energy that we can use, too. Um, I don't know how much this thing takes. I don't think it takes an awful lot. And so it takes 200 kilowatts. 
So if you look at all of this stuff, yeah, there's a thousand. Uh, 560 is a thousand, so that's like 1120 or something like that. And this is another 200. And then this guy is quite a bit more at 330. And then the assembler is even more. So, um, yeah, it just everything takes so much. And that's one of the problems is everything takes so much. So you really do need to build a lot of these wind turbines. And if I can put on some solar panels, that'll help with energy too. And then build some batteries to get stuff filled. Hydrogen engines, this is going to be a huge project. But once we start drilling down in here, the dividends are going to pay off because we'll have all kinds of ore. And then we can start building a ship or something to make it out into space. We could probably do that right now, but I'd much rather have more than enough stuff. Plus then we also have a really cool place to come to. All right, let me go look to see if I can start getting some of that stuff built and then I will come back hopefully when I have some sort of structure ready to go. One of the problems that I'm having trying to get this last piece in, this drill, is I had to drill a little bit bigger hole because when I was trying to place this, it was just turning red with the outline. But if I go ahead and drill that, drill that out and then I place this up here then I can have that. Now when I build all this I will have a drill piece right there and I don't think I'm going to be able to build anything else because this ground is in the way from where the drill is going to be because those heads stick down quite a ways. What I can do is actually drill out a little bit of a place and then see about putting on more stuff. Let me go up to the top and show you guys kind of what I did. So you guys have an idea of what to do. Then I'm going to build all this and I'll put it, we'll get it going probably in the next one because we just won't have enough power for right now. So I put a drill on the bottom and on the pistons they have an upper part and a lower part and the upper part is the actual piston. The lower part is called the top part. And so if you come over here you can see that right here there is a um, piston top part which is this thing right there and then I have this part right here which is the actual piston itself. So what I did I also put a frame up there a conveyor frame and then I'm going to have to take the tubes down and hook it up into our refinery down there and then when I drill it's going to pull all that stuff up and then take it back down and I can get rid of these blocks here and then I can begin actually getting ore into um, our places so we can start getting stuff done and it's, it's going to go down quite a ways and whatever doesn't go down what I can do too is I can always um, tear all of that out and then I can just go um, up there and actually extend that up a little bit if I need to or even um, almost fall down on my hole or you know build another piston on there and then put the drill head back down once I make this hole bigger and just keep on doing it like that now of course if you have mods you can put in longer pistons and all that kind of stuff so this is getting really 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 close to being ready and, and the power is the one thing that we're not gonna have so I'm definitely gonna have to be looking at that let's see what it says for the power for the drill real quick okay the pistons they don't take any power at all it's not that that i'm really worried about but it is the drill okay two kilowatts max required input that'll be okay that doesn't take a lot of power so we're probably still gonna have to build an engine because of all the power that these things right here are taking along with this i can always shut this off and actually that would probably be a good thing and then that will save 330 kilowatts and maybe what i should do is just go and um, the basic assembler. I'll go and turn him off too and then that way I won't have any of that stuff being used and that will take give me a lot more power for up for the other things and that's fine too. I can turn those back on when I want to. 
All right, everybody, you've seen me get all this stuff ready. We have been working on this quite hard, and it's going to be kind of a big facility, but again, we can always add more pieces to it as we go and dig deeper. So I made sure that's right above the cobalt, and then that way we can get a whole bunch of that. And I can also go down and drill some more, but I just wanted to do this. We can put on more drill heads going out this way to the sides and also to the front but not really at the back because it's going to destroy our base if we try to do that but that's actually perfectly all right because you know we can go down and get more and we can uh we can also build a rover to do the drilling but they're kind of really hard and on the slope it's going to be kind of a pain so mm -hmm. on the ice would be a better place to do that i'm going to go ahead and start trying to get some of this stuff uh, put together so that way I have these things kind of ready to go because as you can tell they take a lot of parts so I'm going to need like tubes and large tubes and motors and plates and yada 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 all the way down the line until I'm sick and tired of looking at all this stuff but we are really really close to getting this ready and that's one of my favorite parts and I don't think I can carry any more. Whoops, sorry about that. Let me see. I have some stone on me, but mainly just other things. And let's, uh... Okay, this guy's getting close. Let me just go and try to build a little bit of this, and I'll come back here in just a sec. Well, you guys can see how I'm doing this. I just have this right here, the conveyor, and then I have these tubes going down directly into the refinery. So let's finish building these last couple of pieces. Hopefully I have enough stuff. And we're almost done with this. And then once we do get enough power, and we should have enough power, and I'm going to probably put up like a, uh, flight, a, a flight seat because that's what I'm going to have to use to control this thing with. Then we can begin taking this down and we will just drop these pistons all the way down. And something I'm going to do too is I'm going to label these pistons real quick. Let me see. I do have enough hydrogen. All right. Let me show you what I mean by that. So let's come up to here and let's do this. So I'm going to have this guy be bottom. Bottom piston. Okay. And then this guy's going to be middle piston. That way I know which ones to extend and don't end up extending the wrong ones. that and then this one is going to be the top piston now these only go down a little ways but it'll be down far enough that we can hopefully be able to get enough stuff to you know make more things and get more stuff going and i was thinking about the ice thing and i have plenty of ice on my um in my ship over there because I have the oxygen generator that I can use to resupply my bottles so that's always good all right well you guys got to see how this is basically built I just put all this stuff down now I'm gonna I'll fortify this and I'll show you that in the next episode and then we will begin drilling and if as we need to we will take pieces out now, one thing I will probably have to do is actually reconfigure this because if I take the drills out this way, it's just going to be in the way of this, of these pipes. So I'm probably just going to have to um, take them back this way one and then I could take them down over here or even hook them up on this side and then go up like that. But for the first part, we'll just go and do it like this, and then we will get some stuff going, and we'll get a lot of resources, and then we will begin grinding up a whopping lot of stuff. Could also probably take it in here, but I don't want to destroy that, so... Well, it wouldn't be too bad to do, to be quite honest. But I'll probably just do it out here on this side, and then... 
we will work on that. So until the next time, we will be working on this. And thank you guys for joining me here. If, if you are interested in my stuff, turn on the notifications and subscribe. And that really helps out a lot of us content creators. And we know that you're interested in, in what we are doing. And so if you do that, that'd be awesome. Thank you guys for joining me here. This is Space Engineers. I am DeFudge3004. Thank you for joining me. Please like and share this on your favorite social media. And we will talk to you guys next time. We'll be drilling. We'll be doing a lot more stuff. See you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.